Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany, and if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I focus on fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, fragrances, and really whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content, of course. Also, if you're already a subscriber, go ahead and click on that notification bell. I usually upload twice a week, which is Tuesdays and Thursdays, but every now and then I may miss a day so I don't want you to miss any of my videos. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you all a couple of pre-loved handbags that I've added to my collection recently and it's funny because I have not done like a pre-loved unboxing or a reveal on my channel in over a year and a half. Um, I was looking at my channel the other day and I was like wow it's been a while, you know, so I'm super excited about that because you know we love to save a little bit of coin. And then also I have another handbag that I've added to my collection and you guys may have seen this on Instagram. Um, I posted it a couple of times and I've received a few questions about it. So we'll talk about that one too. So if you're interested, then stick around. Okay, so let me quickly go over what I'm wearing today because I always get asked and sometimes I'll forget to put it in the description box for you guys. So I'm wearing my autumn unit from TCC Hair and I do have a video um, on this unit. I love it so much. It's a ginger, you know, kind of unit with some highlights in there. So it's giving Jessica Rabbit. Love this unit. And I'll have that link down below for you guys. For my earrings, I am wearing uh, the Louis Vuitton Louise earrings. You guys are probably sick and tired of seeing and hearing about these but I wear these on a regular basis at least three times a week okay and then for my top this is a top that I got in the Zara sale um that video should be coming up next or maybe two videos from now we'll see um but this is in the Zara sale and it's just like a Jacquemus type of dupe if you will it's long sleeves but I just scrunch up the sleeves like this because girl it is summertime okay and then for um my lips I am wearing the molasses brown lip liner that is the Sephora brand I'll have that linked I also have on my KKW nude 3 lipstick and on top of that I have a Pat McGrath um lip gloss I don't remember the name but I'll definitely um link it down below for you guys and for jewelry, let's get into jewelry. So here I am wearing my Tiffany's ring. This is the tea ring. My mom purchased this for me. I'm also wearing this ring that is absolutely gorgeous. I picked this up from a small business. I can't remember the name, KO Co, something like that. I'll have it linked down below. It's just like a, um, let's see. It's in the shade of the continent of Africa. Um, and it just has like diamonds in it. So absolutely love, love, love this ring. I'm also just wearing my Cartier Justin Clue ring. Okay, so let's get into bracelets. I'm wearing my Monica the Nader pieces. I wear these every single day, literally every single day. So this is the Jade bracelet and I love the color green, my favorite color. So I always wear this. It doesn't matter what I'm usually wearing unless it just completely clashes. I think this color green goes with everything and I just I just love the pop that it gives my wrist. Um, this next piece is the Hermes Click Clack um, and I'm wearing the smallest size. And I think it's the taupe or the nude, not sure. And then also I'm wearing another Monica Venator um, bracelet and it's just like the hammered gold. It's so beautiful. Love this little stack. I wear this all the time when I'm wearing whites, nudes, neutrals and things like that. And of course I'm just wearing my um, Rolex watch. This is the 36. I'll have it linked down below. I think it is 36 mm. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, y'all. So I'm really excited about this one because a few weeks ago, right before the price increase at Chanel, I posted a poll asking you guys, do you plan on shopping with Chanel after the price increase or will you only shop pre-loved or not at all? And so many of you guys said only pre-loved unless it's like, you know, shoes or accessories and things like that. And then I even had a few of you guys saying that you are done with Chanel because you just feel like they have increased their price is way too many times and I can understand where you're coming from because over the last like two years especially during the pandemic Chanel has had countless price increases and on the business side I do understand but as a consumer it's kind of annoying because um you know I'm, of course the value continues to go up with the handbag so they are investment pieces but 
at the same time, who wants to just keep shelling out more and more and more money for the same handbag? And it's honestly not even the same handbag because the quality is dwindling a bit. I'm not going to go as far as to say that the bags are not good quality um, because I don't believe that. But compared to the vintage classics and things like that, the quality is not exactly the same anymore. So I completely understand. So I'll go ahead and start with the bag that I've had the longest. This handbag in particular has been one that I have been looking for for a little while. Um, I love a mini bag and you guys know that. So I really wanted a silver metallic mini Chanel classic bag. Um, but I was going back and forth between if I wanted the rectangle mini or if I wanted the square mini. I love the square mini. I just find that they are very like unique and just cool, you know, but I don't have a rectangle square mini in my collection anymore. So I kind of wanted to wait on that. Well, that didn't really work out because I would say maybe like two days before the price increase, my uh, Chanel SA contacted me and let me know that they got a silver mini in and it was the square. So of course I had to get it. And this is the square mini. Um, it is metallic silver. It is so pretty. This is the most recent um, metallic that they've come out with. They had a gold one as well. And I just love the little mini squares. So this handbag, I'm super excited that I was able to get right before the price increase. Um, I believe this bag went up just a few hundred dollars. Some of the other bags, they went up a lot more. Um, but this one was still a decent price. It's a fully leather bag. And I have been using this bag, so it has change and receipts in here. <laughs> but yeah, I love this bag. So it does have like a zip compartment in here. Um, it also has like a little pocket in here. And it also has the silver hardware, of course. So I really love this bag. You get that Mona Lisa pocket on the back. And I have a pink mini square as well that I love. And I've had that one for about two and a half years, maybe three years since the pandemic, girl, I can't keep up with the times, okay? But yeah, this one is my newest new Chanel handbag in my collection, and I do love it. I find myself uh, gravitating towards this a lot because I didn't have any silver like hardware handbags except for my Chanel um, black, what is it called, the reissue. And to me, I wear that more when it's like fall and winter. It's a patent leather bag and it's a larger bag. So I like this one because I can wear it out, you know, during the day, crossbody, or I can use this as like a nighttime bag as well. And it's super comfortable. It's just easy to wear. I will say um, this particular metallic bag is brighter than like the past season metallic bags. Um, I remember I looked at a rectangle mini one time. Where was I at? I think I was in New York a few years ago and I don't remember the metallic being this bright. Okay, so this is a bright silver metallic bag, but I just love the pop that it adds to outfits and things like that. And it's just so cute. You know, you can't go wrong with the Chanel mini. So really cute, love this bag. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on that one because today we're talking about the pre-love market. It. Uh, but that was the last new bag that I got from the store. And I will say it's odd because over the last couple of years, I've been shopping new because the pre-love market has been like popping, you know? So sometimes you are not saving as much as you would like on the pre-love market. And for me, if I'm only saving like a hundred to $200, I'm going in the store and I'm getting the full experience. And I want to make sure that I can like choose the bag that I want. So if there's, you know, a little dent or a little scratch, I can choose what I want because it's brand new. So, um, that's why I really haven't been, you know, shopping pre-loved as much unless it's vintage pieces. Okay. So let's move into the pre-loved handbags that I've added to my collection and my absolute favorite places shop for pre-loved handbags online is Fashion File. Um, like I mentioned, I do have a pre-loved handbag collection video on my channel where I give you some tips, but the main reason that I like shopping at Fashion File is because they have a return policy. That's literally reason one through 10 because that's hard to come by in the luxury space when it's pre-loved online to be able to return a product as you would any other retailer without having to go back and forth with um, the retailer about why if you don't like it, you get to return it. Okay, love that. They also do have a layaway plan, which is a great option, especially for every all this talk around the Birkin bags and the Hermes Kelly bags and things like that. Listen, those bags are 
are very expensive and even more expensive on the pre-love market. So if you do want to purchase one of those bags and you don't want to go through the process of waiting, then you can and you can put one of those handbags on layaway and pay it off within, I believe, about 60 days. I've never used that um, the layaway plan, but I think it's an amazing opportunity to secure items that you know you love, even if it's not something super expensive and it's just a handbag that you know you've had your eye on and maybe it was a, a vintage find you can go ahead and secure that bag without paying the full price up front so that's amazing um, but on the opposite side of you know the pros fashion file has been popping okay they have been popping so their prices sometimes rival what's in the store but these two bags that i've added steals and deals and y'all know i always come with the steals and deals so let's get into the first bag so, so this first bag came with all of the accessories except the box um but it also comes in a fashion file dust bag as well and you can tell it's a small bag but this is a bag that has been on my radar for quite some time and we'll get into that but let's go ahead and reveal the bag look at this look at the color oh my goodness so i've really been wanting to add some unique bags to my collection and just things that I normally wouldn't go for, right? Look at this bag, y'all. OMG. OMG. Look at it. It's gorgeous, right? Look at this blue. Okay, I don't own any blue handbags, especially this cobalt blue. I was thinking about doing maybe a cocoa handle in the cobalt blue, but this is the girl. This is the girl right here. Now, this is listed in excellent condition, and I love the fact, like I said, it still has the tags on it. So it says, remove the tag you own the bag right so don't do that that's why i'm here with y'all first um to get your opinion but i know i'm going to keep this bag because it's everything so this is called the valentino lambskin small rock stud spike shoulder bag i love this bag y'all um so like i said this bag has been on my radar for quite some time it's so funny because there's a tj maxx close to me and they have this bag in black but it's missing the strap and they've had this bag probably for three years but they were charging like $200 less than retail, which is over $2,000, and it did not have the strap. And I let them know, I'm like, hey, you know, this is missing a strap. It's supposed to have a strap. Not sure if they would, you know, give more of a discount. They were like, no. So I absolutely passed on that bag, and that bag has been there for, like I said, three years. So anyway, when I saw this one um, on Fashion Files website and I had a 10% off, I had to grab it. So this handbag retails for $2,300. It's right there on the Neiman Marcus website right now. Now this color is not available, but they do have the nude and they have the black and all of that. So $2,300 and I got this bag on Fashion File for $1,195 which is an amazing deal that's over half off and I could not be happier. So they listed this bag in excellent condition and y'all, it came with everything. So I'm gonna show you up close what it looks like. So as you can see, it is a cobalt blue. It has the gold rock studs on it. It also has a top handle, which is adorable. And it has this gold um, crossbody strap, or you can wear it as a shoulder strap as well. And supposedly this detaches, but I'm not sure how to remove the strap. So I keep it on there just because it's like jewelry I like that um but it came with everything you guys except for the box I'm not sure if Valentino handbags come with the box they probably do if you buy them at the Valentino store maybe um but this is my first Valentino handbag and it's a classic right it's so cute it's so edgy and I love this so it comes with the original dust bag I haven't even opened it all the way so let's see and it comes with the original ticket. So I can tell just by this tag that um, this was from like Saks Off Fifth because it says the market price was $22.35. You pay $17.99. So that's how much it was at Saks. And then I got it for $11.95. So it was already marked down just a little bit. But yeah, love this. And then you just get like a regular, you know, like burlap dust bag and when you remove that it's just a simple bag you just get like one little pocket in the back 
and it's just a gorgeous bag I think this is like a beautiful pop of color that can take you all year round I don't have like any blue bags in my collection like I said this color and this is my first Valentino bag and I just think it's so cute before I was thinking about like do I want a medium size or the mini and I feel like in this pop of color the mini is perfect um, and it's not as small as I thought okay so there's like no scratches on the hardware it's in impeccable condition the stitching on here beautiful it's a heavy bag too because it's fully leather and it does have like a lot of hardware on it this is a nice substantial chain do they call this a snake chain I can't remember but I love the chain on this so I am just over the moon with this bag and the other thing that I love about Fashion File is that when they label something like excellent or very good condition usually it's it goes above and beyond what they've labeled it as and this is giving brand new out the store okay even though it may have gone through a cycle at Saks off fifth um but this is such a gorgeous bag and I don't see like one sign of wear or tear on this bag so really excited to have this and yeah i'm excited to style this up and add this to my collection let me know what y'all think about this bag do you love it i love it and it's so different for me right okay y'all so this next bag this is the one that i need your help with so this bag has been on my radar i want to say for the last like two years and I just never added it to my um, wish list because I felt like it was super accessible. Even though it was a vintage bag, I saw it a lot. So it was nothing to really add to my um, wish list. I just kept buying other things in place of it, which is not the smartest thing to do. Um, but at the beginning of the pandemic, I did find a similar bag and I'll put a picture up here. Um, it was in red and that's originally what I wanted. I wanted a red Chanel bag. So. I found this bag and it was a steal, $500. And I got that bag off of eBay. But when I received it in the mail, it just wasn't giving what the girl said it was supposed to give. You know, it was not giving, okay? And I asked my mom about it. She was like, no, ma'am, send that back, not it. Um, and my mom's not huge on vintage bags, but still, like, she was like, that's not it. Um, I asked a few friends and they were like, nah, you could do better, right? And I was really wanting a red bag. <laughs> At the time so I went ahead and sold that bag so ever since then I've been looking for a Chanel vanity case and this was the one that I wanted but I originally wanted this in red now you guys have seen this bag everywhere it's been all over YouTube and actually when I had my red bag um, Jeronica Mycia had posted a review on this bag and I actually commented on her video and I was letting her know like man I have the smaller version of that but I'm not feeling it, you know what I'm saying? So um, she actually pinned my comment and that's how I was able to sell the bag, which thank you so much, girl, because you know it was only $500, but still, if you're not gonna use it, let it go to a home you know that someone will appreciate. So anyway, she posted about this bag and yes, I've been looking at this bag, but I just wasn't sure if it was going to get on my nerves because sometimes with vanity cases, and I have a vanity case um, from MCM, that was my first vanity case bag. My boyfriend bought that for me and I love that bag. But I will tell you this, when you're out and about and you're holding it top handle, and let's say if you have to go to the store, get your wallet out, Everything falls out if you're not careful. That's why I have to throw it on crossbody sometimes because, you know, it gives the bag a little bit of uh, balance if I'm opening the top of it. So I was like, do I really want to deal with that again, especially at a Chanel price? So they do have the new um, vanity case available, but why buy the new one when you can get something very, very, very similar? for a fraction of the price. I think the new vanity cases are going for like $4,000, maybe more. Um, so I've been on the hunt for this one. Now, ever since the beginning of the pandemic, I feel like this bag has become so popular and it's been really difficult to get my hands on one that was in the condition that I wanted it in, no repairs or anything like that. And also at the price point that I wanted to pay. So I came across this bag on Fashion File and you can see, it still has the tag on it. This is a vintage Chanel Caviar Cosmetic Vanity Case. And this bag, you guys, guess how much I paid for this bag? 
$995 and I had 10% off. Okay. So because I received an email saying that all, well, not all, but they had select few Chanel black bags on sale. And so I got that for an additional 10% off. OMG had to grab it. Now on the site, it said very good. So I always trust fashion file because very good usually means excellent condition. And this bag came out in 1996, even with the pictures I can tell really good condition, right? Um, the only thing that it said, it said it had like a, a little bit of wear and tear. And I was also happy that it had the um, original zipper because a lot of times they replace this zipper and you don't get the zipper with the hardware okay but again the only con was that they said it had a cosmetic odor okay so when i think of a cosmetic odor this is a vanity case so i'm sure back in the 90s somebody had this bag and they used it as a cosmetic case didn't think nothing of it i'm like it'll be fine fashion foul always ranks their bags much higher than they are now when i got this bag and I opened the box. I smelt the bag before I even opened the dust bag. And that's why it's not in a dust bag right now. Y'all is given white diamonds. Okay. It's given white diamonds. So I don't know if somebody spilled perfume in this bag, but it's definitely a vintage white diamonds. Okay. And I was gutted when I smelled that. I was like, what in the world? Because like I said, Fashion File always ranks their bags lower than what they actually are, but you can definitely smell this. So when I first got it, like I do all of my vintage leather handbags, I always go over it with a leather um, protector and like a cleaner because it's vintage. You know, you just kind of want to clean it up a little bit. So I did that. And as you can see, the bag is in amazing condition. Like you can see, it looks beautiful, especially for the price because these bags right now, the lowest I've seen, obviously, was the $9.95 at the moment. Actually, Fashion Foul has one for $7.95, but it has a lot of wear and the zipper has been replaced. So that's why it's $7.95. Um, but the lowest I've seen in this condition really is like $1,100, upwards of $2,800 on the pre love market. So, of course, when I saw this for $9.95, I had to jump on it. I knew I could return it. No big deal. So, like I said, I did my little conditioner on there. Um, it has the original zipper. And I have had dryer sheets. I always use dryer sheets in my vintage bags. Only because even if they don't have, like, a bad smell, I just don't like the smell of somebody else's house and, you know, just that vintage scent. So this usually knocks it out. Y'all, I've had this bag two days, okay? And I've had these dryer sheets in here. And girl, it's helped because in here it smells like game, but on the outside it's still giving a bit of white diamonds. Now it's only been two days, so maybe airing it out in my own home, the scent will go away. But y'all, look at the condition. Let me go ahead and take this out. The bag is fully leather. It's made in France. Look at the condition of this bag. It has the Chanel logo here. It has your little pocket here. And then inside, fully leather. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with this bag. And then there, I don't know if you guys can see that. It does say made in France, like right here. I was like, OMG, am I going to send this back? But I just knew I would never get a deal quite like this because this bag looks so good. The next bag I saw that was in this same condition was like $1,500. So I have to think, do I want to spend another $600 to get a bag made without an odor? Or keep the $9.95 and like, you know, just hope that the scent goes away. So I have this strap that I've already had and I'm going to actually do um, a video on like some dupes that I love. But look at this strap. This changed my entire mind. Do you see the strap? It looks like a Chanel strap. It is absolutely not. It's a gold strap or gold chain with the black leather going through it. And it also has this ball here and it's adjustable. OMG, do you see this? Do you see this? And I know when Jeronica had posted about her, she was looking for a strap and I told her that the straps did not work on the smaller one that I had um, just because it sits on the body weird. But because this one is more flat, I guess, and longer, 
with this strap y'all it is it's everything I will never take the strap off the bag and I'm actually gonna buy a couple more of these I'll link it down below just in case it turns because this is not a Chanel strap but it mimics a Chanel strap and it mimics a newer Chanel bag I forget the name of these bags but they have the ball where you can adjust it and then it also has like the ball at the end I think the Chanel ones may have the double C's hanging from the end but y'all it matches so perfectly even hanging like this like it's jewelry gorgeous here I can throw it on my shoulder and it's gorgeous or I can adjust it so easy and wear it crossbody I'm obsessed now okay I'm obsessed I'm obsessed like it literally it doesn't get any better okay and you can make it as short as you want I just I'm obsessed okay with the way that the chain looks on this bag is definitely a keeper and I think I'm just going to stick with the bag you know just stick with the bag give it a little bit more love I'm going to um, probably clean out the inside as well and see if that helps but the inside smells like gain now it's just the outside that you know if I smell it up close I can definitely smell the white diamonds but before as soon as I like open the box I smelled it so it's definitely getting better so let me know what y'all think should I keep this bag or spend an extra six hundred dollars and get a bag without the odor it's doing better though I think I'm gonna keep it simply because the price point it makes me love it even more because the price is so good and look at it it's just it's so good so let me tell you the reason why I went with this bag and why it's gonna be so amazing in my wardrobe okay reason is because you guys know I have my Chanel pearl bag that bag is a crossbody bag but it's lambskin actually let me show you okay so here's my Chanel pearl bag and as you can see it is a lambskin black bag it's a little bit larger than a mini um i have the larger of the two they have a really small one then they have a one that's like shaped a little bit like a rectangle and then they have this one this is the larger of the two and it has the chanel uh written out in pearls the thing about this i love this bag and i use this bag all the time it's stuff right now with all of my things because i actually carried this today so you can see it has all my stuff in there um but this bag is lambskin but it's kind of an oxymoron because it's a crossbody bag. So crossbody usually leans casual. And I throw this bag on all the time because of the size. It's so convenient. It's, you know, it's just easy to wear. But I find myself, you know, banging it up against the car and everything when I'm wearing it. Um, it doesn't have much wear on it. It's been holding up really well, but you know, lambskin is very delicate. And also, I can't wear this top handle even if I wanted to because of the pearl detailing here. I know some of the um, minis you can like wrap the, you know, um, strap around on the inside and maybe tie it with the Chanel ribbon. This one makes it a little bit difficult because of this pearl detailing. So I'm limited in how I can wear this bag. So I was looking for something that would be top handle. You guys know I love a top handle bag and here's the alternative okay this is the alternative to where I don't have to wear this bag as much as I am wearing it of course bags are meant to be worn and I'm so grateful and happy that I am getting my wear out of this bag but I want to make sure that I'm able to take care of the bag so on more casual days and even dressed up days but to me caviar is way more casual I can pull this out it already has the top handle and I've also made it crossbody with my um, chain that I've added and by it being caviar if it's banging up against stuff it's just a lot more durable and this is the vintage caviar so in my opinion it's way more durable than the new caviar so you guys I I love this bag and I'm so happy that I have it um it's it's very convenient I, I do like that and with this strap when I am wearing it on my shoulder or crossbody and I open it up everything's not going to just tip over and out of the bag because again it's on a strap you know so I'm so happy that I added this. Um, like I said, I had a little bit of a dilemma, but even talking through it with you guys right now, I'm really leaning towards just keeping this bag and cutting this little fashion file tag off because the deal is just, it's too good. And I'm not sure how it's looking on camera, but it looks better in person. It's just the scent, it's the scent. But this bag is gorgeous, okay? It's absolutely everything.
I love it. So before I take off this tag, I figure we may as well see what all can fit in here. I feel like this is a nice size like everyday bag. So I'm just gonna transfer everything that's in my, um, you know, lambskin bag and throw it in here and see how it fits. So first off, I do have my hand lotion. So I'm gonna throw that in there. I guess we can do the phone test. My phone was out, but I have the 11 and this is how it fits if you can see that so it's in there no problem so we'll sit that in there and it fits sideways as well next i have my compact mirror this is just like a hello kitty mirror that i've had for a long time i always keep a ton of lip products so i have my lipstick i have a gloss and I have a like brush. This is like a portable brush that you can like touch up your makeup with. Throw that in there. Currently, I'm just using my LV card case. So I'm gonna throw that in there. I also have my Laneige lip balm that I love. I need another one of these, so good. I have a lip liner. I also have another lip gloss, Pat McGrath. I've been on a Pat McGrath kick lately. Let's see what else. I also have my KKW Nude. Don't go anywhere without that one. Oh, look at me. I have a little money in here. <laughs> so I have $10 in here. Throw that in there. I also have a Morphe lip gloss. Throw that in there. And we still have so much room, y'all. I also have my mask. And the rest of this is just like loose change. So I also have my mask. I'm going to throw that in here. But I'm going to put this on the side where the money is not. Okay. And this is what it's looking like. Now, granted, it's just a big black hole, but you know, it ain't too, too much. And let me actually stick the money back here. And it's still, it has the date code back there too. It still has the date code. So yeah, I, st I stuck my money back here in this little pocket there. And let's zip her up. No problem. It holds so much. It holds so much. It is a little heavy, but it does hold a lot, you know? I love it. So it's perfect for every day and I don't have to be as careful. So yeah, I think I like this bag a lot actually. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that is the end of my pre-love luxury haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave your um, feedback down below. Let me know what you think of the Valentino bag. I love that color and you know it's different for me. So let me know what you guys think about that bag down in the comment section down below. Also, let me know what you think about the vintage Chanel vanity case. Would you keep it if you were me, even though it smells like white diamonds? Or would you send it back, pay another $600 and just get one that does not have um, the scent. Also, if I can find these items on the pre-love market, um, I will link them down below for you guys. Just in case you are interested in these items, you can purchase them. I have not seen another cobalt blue um, Valentino bag like that, but whatever I can find, I'll make sure to put that in the description box for y'all because I know that, you know, sometimes it's just hard to scour through these websites. So I'll do all the work for you, girl. No worries. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like content like this. That'll really help me out. And I will talk to you on my next one. Bye, y'all.